Hello, and welcome to the newest installment of the Wet Spotlight. This is a series where we take a species of fish and tell you everything there is to know about them. This time around, we're going to be focusing on Orizius wuwore, more commonly referred to as the daisy's rice fish. We're going to be covering their natural habitat today, their preferred water parameters, their diet, and of course, much more. Suit up and get ready, because today, we're diving into the wonderful world of the daisy's rice fish. Arisius comes from the Greek word ariza, meaning rice, in reference to its relative Arisius latipes, also known as the madaka or Japanese rice fish. Those are commonly used as pest control for rice paddies in Japan and other Asian countries and are actually experiencing a surge in popularity in the aquarium hobby due to the large number of beautiful strains that have popped up. Waware is in honor of Indonesian carcinologist Daisy Wawar, who first collected the type series and photographed live specimens in the field for the first time. For those of you not in the know, no worries, a type series refers to the first grouping of individuals that are used to scientifically describe a species. First scientifically described in 2010, daisy's ricefish are a small, raffin species of fish that belong to the family Adrianichthyidae. They reach a maximum size of about 25 to 30 millimeters in length, making them one of the more diminutive Orizius species from Sulawesi. Orizius waware is distinguished from all other ricefish by their unique color pattern. The bottom of the head, the body, and most edges of the fins are a brilliant red. The central body scales are a beautiful steel blue. The gill plates and the bottoms of the pectoral fins have a nice silvery sheen. Females are a bit more yellowy on the body, but nonetheless a beautiful animal. Additionally, you can differentiate them from several congeners by their flat triangular, or truncate, caudal fin. Did you know? Rice fish were traditionally considered to be members of the order Cyprinodontiformes, the pupfish, but have since been reclassified to the order Balaniformes, which includes things such as halfbeaks and needlefish. Though many Orizia species have a history of inhabiting rice patties, hence the name, this is not the case for the daisy's rice fish. Orizius wawore is found in only one location, a stream named Mata Air Fortuno, in the Parigi district, on the island of Muna, in the southeast Sulawesi province of Indonesia. Sulawesi represents a particular center of diversity for this genus, and to this day boasts 17 species of Orizius that are only found there. Orizius waware in particular can be found darting around in the beautiful still pools found along the karstic forest stream of Mata Air Fortuno, and the substrate in these pools tends to consist of a mixture of mud and sand with patches of leaf litter. Daisy's ricefish have proven to be very adaptable to a wide variety of aquaria, with no major demands in terms of decoration. For best color and behavior, we do, however, recommend keeping them in a well-planted aquarium with plenty of cover in the form of driftwood or rock for them to retreat to whenever they feel stressed. We found Orizius waware to be very hardy, and they can live and breed very comfortably in a wide range of water parameters, although in nature their pH can range from about 6.0 to 7.5, we recommend keeping them at roughly around neutral so long as the pH is stable, and we've also had a lot of luck having them breed and store at roughly this value. Although certain rice fish species can be found in cooler and more temperate climates, Orizius waware is a truly tropical species and typically do best in temperatures between 73 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Due to their diminutive size, daisy's ricefish aren't always the most suitable tank mates for your average community aquarium. They're not timid for a fish of their size, but they should still be kept in groups of at least eight or more individuals. That'll help them feel comfortable and help encourage activity, with at least a few females present to encourage courting behavior in males. We found them to be non-aggressive towards other fish and towards one another other than, again, a bit of harmless sparring that occurs typically in the morning hours between courting males. We found good tank mates for Orizius waware to include other small, docile species such as neon green rasbora, pork chop rasbora, red neon rainbow fish, and pygmy multi-stripe loaches. All have been good fits for a community aquarium. They even tend to be good tank mates for shrimp species like red cherry shrimp or red or black crystal shrimp. 
We don't necessarily recommend mixing them with other Aurisius species, however, just for the potential for hybridization. Breeding these fish, like many other congeners, is very easy in captivity, so they're a good choice for anyone looking for an easy breeding project, something that doesn't take too much effort, or someone just looking to start out. Spawning usually starts up in the early morning hours. Males will darken in coloration and defend small, temporary territories against one another, while attempting to entice females to spawn. Females can produce batches of 10 to 20 eggs every few days, and of course, larger, older females are able to produce more eggs, and with time will be able to get you larger clutches. Females will carry the clump of eggs on the base of their anal fin until they find a suitable area to secrete them, usually in clumps amongst vegetation and other suitable areas. However, if someone is very enterprising and doesn't mind a bit of snagging, they can also always catch the fish out and gently coax the eggs away from the female for hatching elsewhere using a paintbrush or some other delicate instrument. In the wild, these fish are micro-predators, feeding primarily on many types of microfauna, such as Daphnia and mosquito larvae. However, they're not particularly picky in captivity and will eat realistically any suitably sized foods that are offered to them. We recommend feeding them a high-quality flake food or crushed pellet and supplementing their diet regularly with frozen foods such as Daphnia, brine shrimp, or Tubifex worms. If you're interested in getting some Orisius waware of your own, check out our stock list at wetspottropicalfish.com slash current stock and place an order today. Our online sales team is more than happy to help. Whether you're a hobbyist looking for a gorgeous addition to your tank, a new breeding project, or just a fish lover scratching that itch for knowledge, we hope you found what you needed in today's spotlight. If you have any further questions about Daisy's rice fish, feel free to leave them in the comments below, or better yet, come visit us at our storefront located in Portland, Oregon. If you haven't already, of course, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment of what fish you'd like for us to feature next. Thank you everyone for watching, and see you next time.